So today I'm going to be bringing you Zer's Exotic Dare. This is uh, number 12, I think, if I remember correctly. This might be the last one if Zer doesn't give us anything good next week uh, for the season of The Lost. But obviously I'll, be keep, I'll keep doing these like and pick and choose which ones I do like and which ones I don't like. Thankfully, this week he gave us like enough of different things where I was like, I'll do it. And the Warlock's got another one that I've done before, but I did it in a completely different way and I actually like it this time. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, uh, if you guys want to do this challenge as well, hit me up on all the social medias that I'm in. Uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, just type in Fix Tony. You might never know. I might be in there. And just hit me up and uh, I'll definitely look at it. And if you guys want to post your Instagram or your yeah, if you guys want to post your own Instagram uh, look to be issued, I will be having a uh, a way to like register your look, I guess you could say. The easiest way, honestly, is just to hit me up on Instagram and like at me and be like, oh, this is this is for Instagram or whatever. And then I'll go from there because if you guys send me an, a screenshot from Instagram, it's just going to look terrible. So, yeah, without further, further ado, let's just get right into it. So this is my hunter. Uh, I love the way that I made this look. I was going for a very like generic hunter look. Like this is what a hunter would look like because I am I am uh, using the lucky raspberry. This is a, a basic exotic hunter uh, from way back in Destiny One days. So I definitely wanted to really, really get into that identity of a hunter, which is why I'm using the Masquerader's cowl. This is one of those helmets that just feels like a hunt, like a hunter. This is this is basic hunter helmet. If I remember correctly, this was shown in like Destiny One, maybe. Uh, definitely Destiny Two. This is where we obviously got it, duh. But this is definitely like in the in the spirit of a hunter like this is definitely like something a hunter would wear arms obviously are something a hunter will wear as well you got the hunter insignia on both arms and the armor is minimal considering it's just plates on one side of the arm very minimalistic when it comes to that but i definitely wanted to use this because on top of the insignia here you have the insignia on the belt if you right here so definitely wanted to like really use those two as well which is why I think it looks really cool. Boots, I decided to use the Outlander steps just because I didn't want to use these because I'm already using the gauntlets for it. And honestly, I've used, uh, where is it? This one, I've used this one before in a build previous with the uh, Ahamkara Spine, which is why I didn't use this one. I could have done this one for sure too, but I feel like uh, the Outlander steps is just very, thematic to this is what a hunter would wear because it's literally just put like boots and a pants that's really it with one shoulder be or when a knee being covered this is very like thematic to that and last but not least the prog prodigal croak cloak god damn i can't talk today this is one of my favorite cloaks from destiny history it, i think it's just fitting if if i did have one gripe with it is the fact that i wish the the cowl or the 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 hood went a little bit more and didn't like do this dumb like Vegeta hairline thing. Other than that, I love this cloak. This cloak is like one of my favorite ones. I was thinking about using the one from the Menagerie if I can find it because I can always lose it. Uh, this one right here. I was planning on using this one, but unfortunately the purple here doesn't change color. There's a few here and there, but like that's really the main concern that the purple wouldn't change color. Not only that, I don't like how this one kind of clips into that. And I do think that this one's a little bit better because it does clip, but it also looks like it's on top of that. So I'm like, whatever. Overall, I really did enjoy this one. Uh, this would probably not be a look I would use often, but it's definitely one of my favorite looks so far just because it looks like what a hunter would look like this is like like if you when you think of a hunter this is probably what you have in mind so when it comes to that aspect it is my favorite but i wouldn't use it with lucky raspberry but to be fair i wouldn't use lucky raspberry period i think it's a dog shit exotic so there that goes next up is titans and for the titans we have mask of the quiet one this came out really cool with i think maybe the only thing that i don't like is the mark other than that everything is dope so let's just get right into it first one obviously mask of the quiet one i decided to use the basic bitch uh 
or, or the default skin for it just because this one i feel like this one look would look better with armor that's like almost like destroyed which the first one i thought of was the armor from destiny 2 van vanilla destiny 2 when the armor is destroyed i was thinking about using this but unfortunately uh this is like the only armor that looks destroyed from memory like from what i remember so i didn't i didn't want to just use a whole armor set instead i just kind of like thought well i'll just use this and you guys might see the not the pattern but what i was going for essentially i'm going for horns uh so with the this specifically you guys can't even see the top because the horns are so fucking massive but uh, I'm going for the horns up here, horns here, and then for the arms, we have horns on, or not horns, but like, you get what I mean, spikes uh, on the arms themselves, which I really do like, and I think this, these arms just look really good with this in general. Then we have the phenotype plasticity plate, which has horns in the back, obviously, more like wings, but again, you guys get my drift. And then for the boots, Unfortunately, couldn't find anything that had like horns coming out from like legs unless I'm completely forgetting something. But the other thing that I wanted to go for was making sure that it did look like like a not robotic, but uh, like metallic. I didn't want to use like something like I think the I had the armor for it, something like this, where it looks like a little bit more organic. I wanted to use something that looked a little bit more uh, sleek. Uh, futuristic so to speak and this is probably the best one for it uh because there is little horns here but i do understand that it's not the best it could i could have gone with like maybe a few other ones specifically like the phenotype i think the phenotype would have been fine because there's uh ones here and then one here and i think this would have looked fine but i also don't like like this is a personal rule for me i don't like to combine uh, the chest piece and the boots of pretty much everyone just because at that point it looks like you're just wearing a full armor set so yeah that's really why i chose the frost strike greaves just to get the little horns down there and then last but not least we have the uh forian mark this one got chosen just because it looked like it looked the best out of everything i chose not only that you guys will notice that i'm using valkyrie zero so you guys will get orange and yellow if you guys aren't careful, you guys can see the yellow here as well. Although there are some marks that will not show it at all, like this one specifically. This one has no orange or yellow. And I did think about using this one, but it just doesn't look good with everything else. If you could find something that had spikes, then I think that would look a lot better. Like this one doesn't look bad because it has like teeth here or fangs, but i just decided against it this one's also terrible again if it didn't have the orange i would i would rock a lot of other ones like this one's also terrible so from the front it looks it looks actually absolutely good and then from the back it's like eh, the orange and yellow really do bug me but if they bugged me that much i would just change the shader to like literally anything else at that point maybe like the thing the thing that sucks about uh the valkyrie zero though it it's such a I'm I can see the difference in black essentially like I know it's not that crazy I a lot of you probably have noticed it too but this black is completely different to like uh this black obviously so this doesn't look terrible but it, it looks terrible and for me personally so that's why I just decided to go with the whole with the full shader just because I'm like fuck it I'm I'm gonna get really bothered by it I know myself so I might as well just I was thinking about this one too, but I used this one last week and orange is also just bugging me. So decided to go with this one. Let me know Titans what you guys think. I personally like this look. Uh, yeah, I personally like this look. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Next one is Warlocks and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So last but not least, we have the Warlock with Winter's Guile. This one came out really good in my opinion. The only one that I think could be like whatever is the helmet, which let's just get right into it. Helmet is the Iron Banner Forerunner hood. This is one of my favorites uh, helmets in the game. Not surprising, this is a lot of people's favorites just because it looks really cool. Um, thematically, I'm going for a winter look. My Warlock has been through the winter and obviously with uh, Winter's Guile, I kind of wanted to go really lean into that theme. So that's why I'm using the hood, the hood, just because for this one, the antlers really give like 
I'm gonna be real with you guys. My girlfriend chose this one because she was like, the antlers really give the feel of like you're in the wilderness. And I do see that. But if it were up to me, I would probably choose something that looks a little bit more thematic. Like I was thinking about this one just to like really invoke like I'm in the snow and I'm using like a visor to keep warm. I could use this one, although I hate it personally. But yeah, you that one could be an option. Uh, there's like maybe one or two that be, are like actual options. And then I have this one just because it looks cool in my opinion. Uh, arms are Winter's Guile with the Dead of Winter ornament on it, which makes this uh, Winter's Guile ice and black smoke come out. It's really cool without it. It's just basically Winter's Guile. It looks kind of boring in my opinion. Uh, for the chest, this one is actually funny because this is what, like the reason it took me so long is because I had to grind for a synth weave bolt because I didn't have any. And this chest piece really makes the whole deal in my opinion. I love how this came out. I think this came out really well. The green here matches the green right here in my opinion. And it just looks like I'm going out on a, a hike in the in the snow. I love it. Uh, for the legs, I'm also using the boots of the Camorant Car blade. Specifically because this, these boots are big. Uh, if you guys have noticed, Warlock boots are usually pretty small. Specifically for women. And... Yeah, it's super slim, but if you have these boots, they get bulky as fuck. And I think that really lends to the idea of like, oh, I'm in the wilderness or specifically I'm in the snow wilderness. Uh, I could have done something like this, but again, it seems too small for the snow. And last but not least, we have the interlaced bond. I just feel like this one would have been good. Just, I don't know, for me, it, it would help like cover you from like certain stuff or you can just use it as a makeshift shovel I don't know it just seemed like the right choice somehow because everything else was just like there's really no nothing that would look good with this I was thinking about using this one that I always wear this when I don't have anything else to put on it but I didn't want to do that just because I do it so many times and I wanted to use at least something new so Warlocks, that is your bond, or that is your whole look. Let me know what you guys think. This is definitely a look that I really, really do like. Uh, maybe the only thing that kind of like, not ruins it, but doesn't complete it is the, the helmet itself. I do understand. I was using the Street Scholar helmet. I do think this one's still really good because it does look like a ski mask almost. So that's why I kind of like was like almost, almost chose this one. But my girlfriend's like, nah, that looks more lizard, even though I don't see it. But sure, why not? But yeah, this is the one I'm going to be going for for the thumbnail. But let me know what you guys think. Warlocks, Titans, Hunters, let me know what you guys think. They do you guys justice. Remember, if you guys want to show me yours, just uh, hit me up on all the social medias that I'm a part of. Links are in the description below. And be safe, and I'll see you guys later.